two shots. He's Brazilian, only 22 years of age. The 20th pick in the 2014 draft. Jordan Bell to McCall to let in. Oh my. And oh Pat my. took a tough fall again. He did this a few games ago, the same spot. The lower back. And that hurts. Steve Kerr well, is upset because this was Vince Carter that upended him this way. He just told Gary, he said, it, he said, I'm not mad at you, I'm mad at Vince. Well, let's watch at the angle, and he comes up. What, what is, come on, Vince Carter, what are you doing? The play Before, was over. The play was over. That, that's 20 years in the league, you got to know that that is, you just don't do that and upend a guy when he's airborne. I know Vince didn't mean anything to do, but that inadvertent shove, he just injured a player there on a layup that was already done. I, I'm just trying to think because we see Patrick McCaw fall a lot like this, what he can do to help prevent that. Uh, maybe an up fake, let the guy go by and then get an easy layup. Be, you know, but he's completely defenseless when he's up in the air like that. I mean, Vin, Vince Carter is that def hurt. definitely regretful. As he was over there by Pat McCaw, but but he is in a lot of pain. Well, you saw him squirm and roll and roll and roll and roll there to ward off that pain. And for the Warriors, just getting healthy with Clay Thompson coming back and getting Durant and getting Draymond, but you're minus Iguodala and McCaw had had. Excellent back-to-back -back games. He's got seven points tonight at double figures against Milwaukee. But this doesn't look good at all. And this did not have to happen in an 88-69 game. And for someone that was an aerial dunker and Vince Carter, he probably wouldn't appreciate that happen when he elevated either. And you know, Vince sees the consequences there, you know, just kind of the. Okay, here we go. He goes up. I think he was going up to dunk it. See, that's where, it, and I'm, I'm not pointing a finger here. Obviously, Vince just tried to walk through the thing. Let's see what he's, let's watch Vince. What's he doing here? See, so he tried to walk by him without brushing him, but he brushed him enough. And that's where I'm saying you've got to go up a little more aware of your surroundings and what's exactly going on. Still trying to talk to him. So 41 seconds left in the third, and that all kind of takes a back seat to the status of Pat McCall here and just his health in general. I assure you Vince Carter had no idea the little bit of contact that they got would end up in that hard of a spill. No, no, no question. But you know, kind of the rules of the road, Jim. Someone elevates for a dunk or layup. Yeah. If yep. you're beaten like that, you, you don't you don't touch them at all. There's not a reason for that. Yeah. If, if you do, you reach your hand out, kind of put it on their hip, and just you hold on. He goes up, and you guide him back down. Yeah. yeah I mean, I've yeah. seen that a, a million times. Yeah. So you have the both teams. All coming together and thoughts for Pat McCaw. I, wow, I, this I, is a, quite a scene I, here. I've never seen that in the middle of a game ever before. Only in the NFL. And not that many. That's incredible. I've never seen it either in the NBA. That's a that's a lot of years <laughs> and a lot of games. And that, that's that's a first right there. And so there's still a quarter plus to, to be played here. And if we find out anything about Pat McCaw, obviously we will pass that along to you as we know it. But that has uh, definitely cast a pall upon the evening of what has been really good news as far as the way Durant and Clay Thompson have played. The near triple double night for Draymond Green. And so Steve Kerr. Kind of rallying the troops a little bit. Now also, too, someone just from a mundane standpoint has to shoot the free throw. 
And it will not be Pat McCall, so. Dave Yeager will actually get to choose who he wants off the Warrior bench. And Kane Fitzgerald's asking him right now. This is the 1400th game that Vince Carter.